Hi, and welcome to the Blue Screen Brothers. I'm going to take a look at my favorite tool in Windows Sandbox. Uh, and there have been some uh, trouble with it because uh, lately it have not connected with internet. So I cannot use it to browse anything on the internet. Uh, and that's uh, one of the main uh, places where I can use it. So we can see here I have started up Windows Sandbox. Try to go into a website and you can see the icon down in the right, right corner that it's not working. So what could we do to make this uh, work in a better way? Well, it's actually only a DNS problem. So let's see if we can fix the DNS. I will switch over to an English viewing of the settings so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I will just go into the network uh, setup, go into the advanced network settings, and in advanced network settings, I will just go in and edit the adapter options. And in the adapter options, I will go down and set a DNS server that I preferred. This time I'm just using 8888 uh, because I know it's working. So let's see if that will change anything. Let's switch back and see if we have internet up and running. Well, we can see the connection icon is there and we can go into our YouTube Blue Screen Brothers, which is a page you should follow. So that's an easy way of uh, setting it up, but it's quite annoying to have to do this manually every time you start Sandbox. So I would have a look if I can do it in a more automated way. And that we can do by just creating VBS VSP files. That's actually our files that do configuration of the startup of the sandbox. So in the startup, we can use the command, logon command, to just use a PowerShell command or a NetShield command to set the uh, server address, either with NetShield or PowerShell, as you can see here in the both examples. So that's only what you need to do is set that up in the command file. So let's see if that works. We are starting Sandbox now with uh, the configuration file and we will see that it takes some seconds just to uh, run the command and we will have internet up and running without going in and edit anything. So this is a quite easy way to get it up and running. You just need to have a shortcut to the configuration file or the configuration file uh, laying on your desktop or something like that and run it every time you need Sandbox with a sure way of running DNS. I hope this will help you if you have uh, struggled with no internet uh, in your sandbox. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.